Well, hey guys, I know it's been a long time, but welcome back. Uh, kind of ran into some issues uh, with, you know, uh, lightning strikes and having to repair a bunch of stuff, but we're okay now. Um, anyways, long and the short, uh, I wanted to kind of bring you guys up to date on what uh, the other project that I'm going to be doing in conjunction with my, uh, my big boat. So we decided that we needed a, um, a small like tending skiff or dory to service it um, if we're ever anchored out or something like that um, and we don't want to bring the boat in uh, because we just don't want to bring it in or because it's not safe to do so we decided that we would build a 10 foot or so um, little skiff uh, and this one's going to be this is going to be plank on frame uh, but she's going to be about 10 foot all said and done so she'll fit on top of the cabin of the big boat when it's done um, I'm gonna try to use as much local wood as I can for this uh, so I'm gonna try to keep like the framing and stuff like that's like white oak or uh, some sort of uh, you know even a red oak I would use uh, but that's you know that that's just so it, it maintains its you know its cost effective but uh, she's going to have a flat bottom, so we can row her into shore pretty close. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much why I'm giving her a flat bottom. But uh, I, I just laid out my dimensions, all my dimensions on my uh, table here, my uh, primed uh, piece of half-inch plywood. I have all my station lines measured right now from the midship's point to the, sh to the uh, chine which is right there that's the chine and all my dimensions are written out and it's like I said six inch scale so pretty easy all the way back I've gotten all my angles and 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 hopefully my uh, bevels are all written down as well and uh, that's kind of the uh, that's kind of the direction we're going to be going in so what I'm going to be doing next is um, building the strong back for this out of a lot of the wood that came from this so remember all that dunnage which uh, like that held up the uh, the frames while it was on while the big boat was on the strong back. That's what I'm going to use to build the strong back for the skiff. Uh, so I'm repurposing it so I don't have to buy more uh, framing lumber. Uh, I've got a guy, hopefully that's going to be able to deliver me some pretty good white oak, and uh, we'll see how that pans out. But as it stands, uh, that's where we're at, and uh, when. Uh, when uh, time and, and money permits, I will uh, start on this project and start laminating the deck for the big boat. But I kind of want to do both of these in conjunction. That way, when the big boat's done, the skiff is done. So, um, and I think that's possible. I don't think that that's you know over you know overkill. Alrighty, well that's where we're at. Oh, and I have a Facebook page now. So um, if you go to um, if you go on Facebook page and look up uh, quarter deck woodworking, that's me. So uh, check me out. I'm selling furniture on there as well to pay for the boat. So hopefully you'll see the boat and maybe products you want to buy. But anyways, that's, uh, that's all for now, and I hope to uh, catch you guys soon.